Welcome back to Tarantula Art. So today I want to show you guys how I keep my seaburst color. So as you can see on the container right here, this is Gem. Not obviously too small to find out the male or female. But with the help of two amazing YouTubers, I have been able to keep her to where I'm not having any problems and I'm hoping I don't jinx myself but I originally had her in a little drain bottle that I got her in um, obviously I did not have the good ventilation and stuff so I moved her into another container but the only problem was every single time I went to take off the lid I destroyed her web and then well she would get out every time and just stroll around on my hand which of course, if you have a first color sling, you know that they like to wander around. So I ended up coming up with this little idea. Also the little twig thingies right here on the side. Sorry, sweetheart. I got that idea from another YouTuber from Ants DIY because he's done that with one of his tarantulas. So this way you don't destroy everything when you open it. Worked out perfectly because she has made her little canopy web across that as you can see. So this container normally is for a terrestrial, but what I've done, well, it already came with holes, but the holes were like a lot smaller than that. Like probably like a, uh, if you just got a tack and just poke the holes in it, wasn't working for me. So I decided I was going to make them just a tad bit bigger. She does have them on both sides. Don't mind the nasty glue work. And then I also have well, a couple holes on the top. She does have a water dish right here glued to it, which every once in a while I do see her come down to drink. She's got some fake plants in there as you can see. And for the most part, what I do is I just fill up a little cup of water. When I have to fill up her actual water dish, I do have to take the little lid down and stuff, which she now stays in there because I'm not taking the whole lid off. But I get some water and I just put the little pipette, which you guys can't see, so let me bring this up for a second. There we go. Fill the pipette up with some water, put it over one of the holes as best as I can and squeeze it there. This way, yeah, she doesn't like that, but <laughs> this way it only soaks or gets half the substrate wet and half of her web. So she's still getting her humidity that she needs as being a sling. And she has now, as you can see, water right there on her web and over on the side. So she's able to go over there and drink. Now when I feed her, I'm not going to right now because she's refused food three times now. So it's letting me know that she is in pre-molt. Um, what I normally do is I injure or kill a cricket, one that's smaller than her obviously. And I just sit there and place it right there on her web and she finds it she eats it she's happy i'm calling it a she because i'm hoping it is but if it's a male it's fine too so yes this is my little burst colors enclosure and like i said before it is a terrestrial enclosure but i keep that main lid shut it's not very wide but it works for her let's see if you turn this around oh yeah that's right i do have two holes in the back <laughs> forgot about that I wanted to make sure she had ventilation from every angle that I could possibly get. So she does have a little more substrate than needed, but then again, this thing is a little taller and stuff, and I don't want her to fall and hurt herself. So, and rarely does she go down there. I'm sorry I'm doing this left-handed, so it's going to be a little wobbly for you, my dear. But yes, this is her enclosure. And there she is. Let's get this closer. Oh, yeah. A little shiny foot. So yeah, she is on pre molt right now. And yeah, the downside of this enclosure, though, because like I said, it is a terrestrial one, it does not like to stand up very well the way it is. So I had to cut a little piece of, I'm not going to lift it up to show you guys, but I did cut a little piece of this little plastic lid I had and glued it to the bottom so this way it doesn't just fall back. So now it is sturdy standing in one place and I don't have to worry about her falling over. 
So yeah, she does get fed every other day, every other two days. But like I said, last couple feedings, she is not taking to it. So she'll be molting for me soon. She has once since I've gotten her. So I'm not really sure when that blue stage was supposed to be. <laughs> and even now she does have some blue on her, but she's more of an emerald green still. So I'm not sure. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. If you did not, thumbs it down, like, comment, and subscribe. Obviously that would be the like thing with the thumbs up, but yeah, I'm rambling now. All right, so everybody take care. Later.